Good morning, Tahmina Khan is here in TK Maths is fun. In today's video, we will see the addition and subtraction of decimal numbers in real life. This is video number 3. In the previous video, we have seen the techniques of addition and subtraction of decimal number. Right? So, you can find that in the description given below. So, let's start with two questions. First of all, I am solving this one, first question. So, I am calling it first, right? And this is number 2. And there will be test for you. So, you have found 100. You spent 48.75. Remember, read it as 0.75. Do not read it as 75. So, 48.75 and then earn. Now, this is you have spent and this is you have earned. 28.50 what is your final balance so what comes in your mind when we spend something money goes away from us so reduces so minus when we earn money is coming to us with us so now it is increasing it means addition so you have to do this question in two steps number one is what I already have so I have hundred initially I told you last time in the video, if there is no decimal, it is at the end. And after that, you can write zeros. If you need one zero, two zero, depending on the situation. Then, next step. And you have to do these questions stepwise. It will be easy, right? So, now you spend some money. What is that money? 48.75. So, you will subtract from 100. So, one step, one time. 48.75. I told you in the last video, write the correct place value underneath. So this is my units, this is my tens, this is my hundreds, this is my one tens and this is my one hundreds, right? Now I have to subtract. So how will I subtract? We start from this side, but 0 minus 5 is not possible. So I will borrow 1 from here, but this is also 0, I can't do anything. I will borrow from here. This is also 0. Then further down, this is also 0. So I will borrow from here. This will become 0 and it will give 1 to it. Now this will become 10. It will give 1 to it but itself it becomes 9. Similarly, this will become 9 and this will become 10. Similarly, after giving 1, it will become 9 and this will become 10. I am taking time to explain it to you. You can do it fastly once you will understand this concept. Now, 10 minus 5 is 5. Now, here it is 9 minus 7, right? This is 9 minus 7. So, it will be 2. Decimal will come here. Now, this is 9 and this is 8. 9 minus 8 is 1. Now this is 9, this is 4, 9 minus 4 is what? 5, then what is left here? 0. So you write here 0, you don't write here, doesn't matter, right? Mostly we do not write it. So after spending 48.75, what is left with me? 51.25 pounds. When you are adding or subtracting, you do not write currency, right? Uh, like it is pound or it is AD or it is rupees, whatever, right? So you do not write the currency, you just write un numbers, right? In the last, we will write the unit. So now after spending 48.75, I have 51.25 pounds. Now what I'm, I am then earning, earning means money is coming to me. So now I will add up 28 point. Five zero. Let me write it correctly. It should not avoid any confusion. Oh, sorry. It should not create any confusion. So I will write eight under one. Okay. So now I have to add up this amount. So addition five plus zero is five. Five plus two seven. Eight plus one nine. Five plus two seven. So question is saying what is your final balance? Mean what do you have now? So you can say in the last 
final balance always write a statement okay in word problem it is very important that you tell what is your answer representing the final balance is pound 79.75 okay and here I should have mentioned spent so one should know why I'm subtracting and here I should know what happened what is this amount this is earned right now let's do the next question let me increase the size of it okay so now you will try yourself this one first okay so you can put the video on pause but I'm doing it here so John has 75.50 Again, he spent this much on his clothes and then he received a gift of this. Now, you see, situation is, uh, sorry, uh, the concept will be same that the scenario has changed. Spend is same, but somebody is giving you as a gift or you earn it. It's the same thing. Money is coming to you. So, first of all, I will subtract the 75.50 minus because what? I am spending it, right? So, 32.40, I will subtract, okay? So, now when you are subtracting, 0 minus, we start from this side, 0 minus 0 is 0, 5 minus 4 is 1, decimal under decimal, 5 minus 2 is 3, 7 minus 3 is 4. So, now I have this money and then what happened? Somebody gave me gift. Now, gift means... I am earning now here you see I have written separately right so now here I am doing it in the same question just to tell you there are different ways of handling the question, but it is totally your choice so now I am adding into it 18.20 here I wrote it separately you see but you could do it in the same question also now I am adding it 18.20 don't read it 18.20 okay don't read 18.20 now i'm adding up these 0 plus 0 1 plus 2 3 let me change the color i forgot to change <laughs> and then 3 plus 8 11 1 will be carried forward 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 1 6 so i have final balance and I told you you will write this statement in word problem it is very important to tell what is your final answer representing the final balance is pound 61.30 you can notice when I was calculating I did not use pound at all right so this is what we do we do not use any unit or currency when we calculate <coughs> okay so now this is how you will handle your word problems. Now, one question I have given here for your understanding. So, you will test your understanding. Put the video on pause and I will show you answers here. I have done the working here in advance and I will show you. I will read it with you in case if you need clarification, but then you will try yourself. Richard was asked to go to the supermarket by his mom. And how much money mom gave him? Mom gave him pound 10. Okay, you can see it here. And then, uh, mom said for bread, this got is stuck. Why it got is stuck? Let me see. Anyway, so mom gave him bread. No, mom asked him to buy bread, milk, and egg. The cost of the bread is 1.39 pound, milk 1.20, and egg 3.79. So this much money will go out from him from the 10 pound mom, mom has given. So what you can do here? At the end you have to say how much money Richard has to give to his mom. Now there are two ways to do it from 10 you can subtract bread first because suppose these are available at different shops suppose I'm making scenario in exam it could be asked in different ways right or anywhere also so from 10 first he 
by bread you can subtract what is the money left then he will buy milk subtract that money is also gone then this money is also gone eggs then you will know what is left or other method is what suppose they were all available at one shop so what you will do you will add up this this and this because this money is going from him he will give all this together so you can add up what is gone from him and when you get the answer subtract it from pound 10 okay so two ways you can try put the video on pause and let's see i'm showing you the solution here so i have done it by the method considering that they are all available in one shop so all the things i'm buying i have added up their amount and then i have subtracted it from 10 and then i have written the final statement but what i was saying earlier okay in case if the question is changed and suppose you go to shop a to buy bread then what you will do from 10 you will minus bread amount first of all in 10 there is no decimal so you will write like this right and you will write here bread you will subtract whatever the amount will come you will know that is the amount left with him after buying the bread so then you can subtract from it milk amount right then you can write here milk and then egg and you will get the answer so i hope you understood thank you very much for watching the video please press like and subscribe button in next video we will do multiplication and decimal by uh, sorry multiplication and division by decimal take care allah hafiz